Okay, baby, so look for day two on your worksheet and let's knock out this problem. It says a triangle with side lengths 5, 11, and 15 is similar to another triangle with a longest side of um, side length of 24. What is the perimeter of the larger triangle? So it's asking me for what is the perimeter of the bigger triangle? So here, you need to know the word perimeter means to add up all the sides. The word rim in here means the outside. That's how you can remember it. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and draw what they said. I have a triangle and I get sides 5, 11, and 15. And since they didn't tell me um, any letters, I'm just gonna write it randomly. And I'm gonna just call this A, B, C, so I can kind of keep up with things. And it's similar to a triangle with the longest side of length 24. So what I'm gonna do, the longest side of this is 15. So that means the longer side of the other triangle need to match the longest side of this triangle since they're similar. And then I'm just gonna call this D, E, F. So I have my two triangles together and it asks me to find the perimeter. So that means I need to find X and Y. And then once I find X and Y, I need to add all of these sides together of the larger triangle. So let's get to it. Well, I know that 15 equals 24. Well, they're corresponding. And then 5 corresponds with X. And 11 corresponds with Y. So I got my triangles almost highlighted hold on babies and y'all please do your homework and don't just copy this is how we learn we try first and then we come and look at the video if you need to babies um because we have to develop your ability to think so start working on your ability to think because you know the test questions aren't going to look exactly like these questions but the concepts will be there and that's what we have to get used to five over x equals 15 over 24 and so we get 15x equals 5 times 24. All right, let me see. We get um, 100 plus 20. Yeah, so that's going to be 120. 15x equals 120. Yep. And then we're going to divide by 15, divide by 15. And I was trying to do this one in my head, but it's taking me too long. So 20 divided by 15 equals 8. I was getting there. <laughs> so x equals 8. All right, so I found x. So I know this side, I'm going to go ahead and replace it with the number 8 since I found it. And now I need to find the y side. So I'm going to go... Uh, 5 over 8, and you can use any side you want to to match this up. This is just what I'm choosing to do. We'll all arrive at the same answer. And so I get 5y. Ooh, let me make sure I did that right. 15, wait, I said 5 over 8. And then 11 over y. Yeah, I'm good. Equals 88. Well, look, hold on. Let me not skip that step. Let me do 8 times 11. 5y equals 88 divided into 5, divided into 5. y equals 88 divided by 5. And we're going to just call it 17.6. I don't like um, decimals. So let's see. Let's go fraction. 88 over 5. And that's okay. I'll go ahead and let you put the decimal form too because it just will make it easier for you to add this stuff together. So that's fine. Um, 17.6. So now that we have everything we need, I'm going to go and find the perimeter. So perimeter equals 24 plus 17.6 plus 8. And we're going to go add all those together. 24 plus 17.6 plus 8 equals 
49.6, 49.6, and let me see if there's any units. No, it didn't give us any units, and we're done. All right, babies, see you tomorrow. Bye.